let's solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2025. In this question, we have been asked to find all three digit numbers which are divisible by two and three, but not divisible by four and nine. So the, this is a keyword actually, we have to look at this two and three and not divisible by four and nine. So the numbers which are divisible by two and three would be divisible by six. So LCM of two and three is actually equal to six. So we have to look for all those numbers which are divisible by two and three and then which is divisible by six, right? So now what we're looking at is three digit number. So in general, whenever we, we start with this, right? What we do in such cases that we start with the smallest number and then look for the largest number and understand that the numbers will be actually in AP and then we try to find out the number of terms, right? So in this case, like we, we, you see this, right? So my smallest three digit number is 100 and the largest one is 999. So what I do is I sort of divide it by six and find the number which is closest to 100, which will be divisible by six. So when I do this, in this case, it is easy. First one will be 102. So 102 will be the number which will be divisible by six. Now if I look at 999, we can do this same thing, 999 by six. So we can try the first thing. This is like six, right? And then three, nine, then 36, right? Then what we have got here is again three and nine. So we got 36 again. <clears throat> so what we have got here is uh, basically three is the remainder. So if I subtract three from this, then I will get the number which will be divisible by six. So my last number or the largest three digit number will be nine, nine and six. So now I've got an AP, like the first term will be 102, next term will be 108, and so and so forth. And my last number will be 996. So how do we find out the uh, number of terms here? So we know in an AP, the nth term is given by A plus N minus 1 into D. So this is what we will substitute here. So our, our AN is 996, my A is 102, my N is something which I need to find out. And this is D is 6. Now, if I subtract this 996 and 102, then what I get is 6 minus 2 will be 4, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 9 minus 1 is 8. So, 894 upon 6, and then I will get N minus 1. So, once I divide this, I get 149. So, N is going to be 150. Now, we'll do the same thing for 4 and 9. And what is our idea is that first we'll find this number and then we'll subtract those numbers which are divisible by 4 and 9. So similarly, LCM of 4 and 9 is actually going to be equal to 36, right? Now, I'll start with the number 36 and find the, the smallest number which will be divisible by 3, which is that 3 digit number, right? So that will be 108. That is easy to know. Now, for the largest number, again, I'll have to keep dividing it by uh, 36 just to figure out what is this, right? So 36 into 2 will be 72. And then I'll find out 9 minus 2 is 7. And 9 minus 7 is 2, 2, 7, 9. And then again, I divide it maybe 7 times. 8 times will make it bigger. So 7 times. So this will be 7 into 6 will be 42. And, and then this will be 7, 3 is a 21. That will be 25. So what I get is 9 minus 2 is 7. And then 5, 7 minus 5 is 3. If I subtract 27 from this, then I get the largest number. So that will be actually 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7. So this is 972. So I, again, this is an AP for which the first term is this and the last term is it. We'll find out the number of terms. So call this as AM equals to, in a sense, A plus M minus 1 into D, right? And then what do I find out? I will find out AM is 972, A is 108, and then M minus 1 into 36, right? Now, what is 972? If I just do this calculation again, then this will be actually 972 was nothing but 36 into 27, right? And then this is nothing but 36 into 3. And if I divide it by 36, right, I'll get my M minus 1. So in this case, 36 will cancel out. So I'll get 24 here. So M will be 24 plus 1 which is 25. Now my required number will be just n minus f, which is 150 minus 
25, which is 125. So yeah, this is what will be my answer here. This was a simple question. We just had to do a little bit of calculation, but such questions have come earlier also in J. And then, so hope you have understood this. If you have got any questions, do ask me in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.